fight your fears and survive. What's up ladies and gents, I'm your host Sinistrino1 and welcome back to more Resident Evil Remastered HD Edition. This is the PC version, 1080p, 60 frames a second. Thank you so much for watching, hopefully you are enjoying it. Don't forget to become a Patreon in the description below. Follow the link and get uh, special rewards and all that other kind of stuff. It really does help the channel out. And don't forget to follow me on Twitch TV slash Sinistrain01. It's go time. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the first episode. There's going to be a zombie right outside here. So you can just run right into him. We got plenty enough dagger stuff. I don't feel like wasting a shotgun blast just yet. We're gonna go through here really quickly. It's gonna be another one right here. You can see you can get by him a little bit. And we are gonna head out into the main hall again. Uh, it's starting to come back to me as far as uh, what I need to do and where things are and stuff like that. I've got a little bit of rest. Uh, is the first episode I played was what I recorded the night that it came out at midnight. So I'm a little bit more rest up and hopefully we're going to have a fun uh, 20 minutes or so here for this next part. Barry. Jill, got any good news? Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. All right then, let's split up again. Hey, hold on a sec. Look what I've found. What? A can of fizz. It's sure to yellow and mellow those things. It's yours. Hopefully you won't have to use it. All right, we got the acid shells. What about you? Oh, don't worry. I like the buddy system we have here. I see. Thanks. I'll take it. See you later. Ciao. I really do hope they uh, somehow, if they don't reboot the series, um, bring back, you know, Barry somehow. I really would like to see him in more Resident Evil games. Really, he was only in this one um, as far as, you know, moving around and things like that. So I would love to see him. Uh, wish they could have put him in some other ones as I thought he was a pretty good character. All right, so we have a lot of things to do right now. So we're going to try to jam it into this one video here. A lot of going back and forth between this place and the other. First thing we need to do is what I originally wanted to do in the first video before we cut it short, but I was getting freaked. I was just like, my heart was pounded, man, remembering this game. So we're going to use the dog whistle. And we're going to wait for this... Get close enough to where you don't change camera angles. Alright, I don't know if we're going to make it. It's going to be close. Ah, figures. They don't take too much damage. I mean, sometimes you can get it before that dog gets in there, but sometimes you can't. So, again, you have to remember that everything is kind of canned. So, the animations that it takes to... Um, to fire the weapon, takes a few extra seconds, a few extra seconds to do this, so a little bit harder to to get by that without taking any damage. Alright, this guy just keep moving, don't stop believing. Alright, so we're gonna go in here real quick. We're gonna drop off an item or two and maybe add another one. Gonna be coming back in here a few times as well. Let's see, we're gonna drop off the acid shells. We don't really need those right now. We're gonna pick up the lighter because we will need that a little bit later. And we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves ready for this. And now we have a spare key. Which will definitely come in handy. That's all we need in here right now. We'll be back in here in just a few minutes. Gonna head back out here into the main dining hall. 
and then uh, take a little shortcut over to another little area. We didn't really need to do it this way. I'd rather um, go this way. Because we, you know, didn't have to mess with one of the uh, one of the zombie guys. And this guy's a lot easier to get by than the other zombies, so. Alright, you'll come back like that door right there. We could have went. So keep moving, don't stop. These guys are crazy. They will chase you throughout the whole screen. But once you get past a door, they don't follow, so. I'm in no rush, but if you do want to save time... Um, you know, there are leaderboards and whatnot in this game, so if you want to save time, you can un unequip, um, like, say, your shotgun and just go around with your survivor knife. That'll be a little bit uh, quicker, and of course, if you have nothing at all, it'll be really quick. You'll be able to move around a lot faster if you're going for that speed walkthrough. Here you want to use your imitation key, the one that we just picked up from the dog. I actually recorded this mission already. I tried it with the Elgato, but... For some reason, it just kept screwing up, so I decided to go back to action. Um, I think uh, action is just perfect for recording PC gameplay. It, the only problem is I have to do a lot more editing, whereas with Elgato, it has a built-in editor. Everything is really quick, but unfortunately, I had to do it this way now. This is very tricky, so we're not even going to worry about it. Um, it's a lot quicker to go inside that room, however, you have to deal with two zombies, and I don't really feel like testing my luck with uh, one of the crimson zombies right now, so. This way will take you exactly where you need to be, and you don't have to deal with any zombies. It's just a little bit longer to get there, that's all. Not a big deal. That clock, just that ticking of that clock just gets me every single time, you know. It's so scary. It's really cool, though. Alright, so we're going to head up here. And then we're going to head to the right all the way. And then now we have that key. We'll unlock this door. And we are going to grab a grenade launcher. We don't need we don't need any hand uh, ammunition right now. So forest is a ghost. All right, head back the way we came. So I tried to to use some tank controls, but I am just so rusty with it that it was it was awful. I was running into everything. So even if I am kind of you know doing a couple of zigzags here and there with these alternate controls, I think for me right now it's it's definitely better for me to use these controls. We'll go ahead and reload. So again, if you guys would like to see a Chris walkthrough, let me know in the comments below. Of course, the more people that want to see it, then the better chance that it has. As um, they do offer a few different story elements, different ways to do it, different ending, things like that. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are... Monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Spoiler alert, it must have been Venom Snake. Venom Snake is the culprit. Alright, so it tells you where you need to go. It even shows you the 
the room of where it is, so... <laughs> Now, the thing is, you don't have a lot of time to get there. We do have another mission at hand as well, so we're going to complete two objectives while we're doing this, which we should be able to do in the amount of time allotted. But, uh, <laughs> you know, I can't guarantee anything. Um, also, let's see. Um, yeah, there's a few things that we're going to pick up and collect. Uh, if you do not do it in the amount of time, then he will die, and it will change... Some of the things like, uh, I think he drops like a weapon of some sorts that you're able to get, but obviously you won't get that weapon if he's not able to give it to you. Because <laughs> he's a uh, dude. So just keep going, don't stop. This is the room where the serum is, all the medical supplies, and there's also a few other items that we're going to get down here as well as move on to our next objective. Um, you can see we don't have any room right now, so we're going to go ahead and put this in there, and that should be all we need to put in there. We can go ahead and, yeah. Should be good to go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't you freeze on me, game. So I'm always a little weary when playing PC games about how easily they can freeze sometimes. I've also noticed that this game a lot has a... Uh, done I love, I love that right there that this game I've noticed more and more for some reason that um, it will not respond and it'll just crash um, this is really the only game I've noticed that on out of a lot of the games that I have but it is something that can be a little annoying you can pick up battery packs those are the uh, electroshock therapy that you can do on zombies just like the daggers you can have multiple of them. Now we have a key to enter into this room. We didn't before, but once we did that little trap, we were able to have a key. So just keep moving forward. Don't stop for anything. As like I said, timing is very crucial. You can pick up another one here. So There's a few zombies banging on the windows out there. I don't know if you saw those. Alright, this is kind of a little puzzle. You may not really know what you need to do here. But you need to take this bag. Now, once you do this, you can see the color that it turns. That should give you a little bit of a hint on what you need to do. You're going to pump the water, and you want red. It's the first one that will be selected, so if you just keep hitting A or X, whatever system you're on, then it should automatically select it. Alright, once you do that, we're going to hurry up and grab the desk mask. I think, how many is there? There's like three or four of them, I think. Alright, now that we got the death mask, if you would have done the green or a different color, I think uh, the, it would take away all of the uh, the life things that they have in that room, all those green herbs. Scary. So, because we have this new key, we can actually really take a big shortcut right here, which will definitely cut off some time. This will take us out to that main area next to... That guy always freaks me out, man. Jeez. Alright, so we need to get back to Richard as soon as possible. So hopefully everyone had a great day today. Hopefully your weekend will be great as well. I've got a lot of upcoming projects. Um, Dying Light's going to be coming up very soon. Depending on when you're watching this, it might already be out. Um, also, what is it? Order 1886 is coming out. Uh, lots of cool games, and hopefully we're going to be adding a lot more people to the channel. And let's see if we made it in time. Sweet. Here, Richard. I'm going to give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill, here's my radio. Take it. I'm... <sighs> Does it ever not hurt? <laughs> Alright, mission accomplished. So we're going to go ahead and move on into here. Now, you'll notice that when we started, I picked up the uh, the lighter. I put it back in my inventory. I didn't originally have it in there. 
This guy, you're going to want to hopefully get a headshot. Nice, first time. Uh, you're going to want to take that guy out because he will end up following you into this room, I think. And the reason that you want your lighter is because you have to light this. You got to do it in the right spot, though. Right there. All right, so what that does is it's going to make it to where we can actually see what we pick up. I know it's a little ridiculous, but don't make sure you just don't kill him. Pick up the musical score. We don't need any of that hand ammunition. I always get ammunition and um, uh, ammunition. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's from Grand Theft Auto, isn't it? Ammunition or something like that, I always want to say. Even though I'm in the military and I deal with that stuff all the time, I always say it wrong. So we got the musical score. And now we gotta head back to the other side again. <laughs> we got a lot of fun things to do though right now. Actually, let me check my stuff. Yeah, we've got no space. So, what do I want to do? I can fire. Yeah, that'll work. I'll fight. No, it won't work because I need to have two spaces. So what we need to do right now is we need to create a space. And to be honest, the best one that we're going to do that is over here. Oh, that was a close one. I wonder if he'll still be here when we open this door then. Well, the next, not this one, but the next one. Yeah, I'm right. <laughs> oh, such a great game. I will try to get these videos out as soon as possible, but there's a lot of games I got going on right now, so. And I'm, you know, trying to stick to that kind of a schedule that I got set up for myself where we're playing these two right now. Saints Row, Gats Out of Hell, Gat Out of Hell, and then this one. You always want them to vomit. The vomit is the easiest one to get by, So, but you always have to be on the stairs for that. So we're going to pop in, pop a squat in here. You can see all of our items on the floor there. Um, we don't need the lighter anymore. So that should clear up a space for that. And we actually don't need the ink ribbon anymore because we'll be able to get one in just a minute. And that should be fine. We're probably going to have to knee this guy again with the shotgun. Shotgun to the knee. Actually, there's... No, we do want, want to go this way. I don't know where this guy is. He could be in this hallway right now. Not really good at this, so that's why I'm trying it. I can't believe that actually worked. Whoa. I didn't even do it right and it still worked. <laughs> that's how a noob gets by an enemy. I was never any good at that kind of stuff. I guess I just didn't pay much attention to it, you know? So you want to go to the bottom. First you want to do a complete circle, you know? A little spin. We got a couple of extra things to do, and then we're going to be done with this right before we get to the next part, which is going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. All right. So we saved up a little bit of room, and I will explain why we did so. You're going to grab this little emblem here. See if we can juke by this guy again. Like I said, I'm not very good at the old. Let him get a little close. Nice. See, my reflex times are still a little bit off. 
Like, I should have moved it even quicker than that, but it's, it's getting used to it. I'm, I'm, I think by the end of the game, by the end of me, you know, getting my hands on the game a little bit more, I should get better at it. So, first thing you're going to do before you don't even want to pick up that ink ribbon just yet, even though we are going to need it. I'm going to pick up this musical score. So, now we have both, which means we need to combine them. And we're going to play some music. What would have happened if she was very, very bad at playing the piano? <laughs> would she have been able to get in there? All right, so let's check out our space. We got two spaces, so we should be fine to go ahead and grab uh, this guy. Now, that's exactly why you wanted to grab the emblem that we grabbed in the library section, or the dining hall, I guess you could call it, because we're going to need it. And we're good to go. You guys can read this, uh, Trevor's Diary. I don't know, just the, the ability to reload is such an awesome concept in this game. Without having to go into the screen. Alright, so... Let's head back out to the main dining hall. We might be able to sneak by this guy. Like a glove. That guy really wants to get in there. Now, if I would have... I don't I don't know if, if, if I would have unlocked that door, maybe then he'd be able to get through there. So... But right now he can't, so I guess we're good. All right, so you can see that there's a spot that we can put this there. Ah, oh, we have a puzzle. This is not a very difficult puzzle. If you remember in the very first section of the game, I showed you this picture, went through all the stuff. You'll notice that there's a long sword through a guy's head and a short sword through a guy's armor. So that's really all you have to think about. Now, doing this is a little weird. You got to think about a big hand and a small hand. Obviously, the the large. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to explain this right, so I guess just do what I do. Uh, try it. Yes, we want to turn the large gear. We want to turn it left. I don't know why the small gear is considered the large gear, but we want to turn it another one because you want the. Oh wait. Crap. Uh, I did it wrong. Sorry. <laughs> I screwed that up. Alright, alright. Because you gotta go through all this text. Large gear, again, to the left. Armor. So the smaller gear is on the armor, and the bigger gear is on the top. Even though it's the large gear moves the smaller. I don't know why it's like that. No, wait, I don't want to keep turning. There we go. And this is also a good place to call it a quits for this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying. And we are going to go ahead and save on our trusty typewriter. Again, thank you so much for all the love and support you guys do. And I promise to have some more videos for you guys soon. Uh, Saints Row Gat Out of Hell is going to be coming out even more videos for that and it's a fairly short game so we're going to get through that pretty quickly so we can focus on this one before the other games come out so i'm going to do my best to make sure that i can handle everything that we're putting out for the channel and of course thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time don't forget to become a patreon check out the link in the description it really helps out and uh, we'll see you next time peace out bitches